Hello my gorgeous Scorpios! How's everyone doing? Welcome to your love reading. This is going to be for you and your person, whatever that means to you, boo-boo, situationship, relationship, bumble date, marriage. Uh, this is a general reading, timeless reading, so uh, bear those, uh, those factors in mind. So basically whenever the reading finds you, it's probably meant for you as long as it resonates for you. And take what resonates and get rid of the rest. Um, also, Scooby, this is for Scooby, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Or if you have a lot of Scooby in your chart, boo boo. Uh, I, I am wearing a toga. Um, yes, I'm wearing a toga. Let's just leave it at that. I have a new podcast coming out. It is related to the podcast. It will be published on April 1st on my channel. So check it out. It's about tarot, it's about love, it's about love advice. It's called Tarot Love Doctors with my amazing friend Demi Wild information about him is in the description box below um if you're new to the channel baby this is a secret scooby club i'm scooby sun and rising so we have deep deep scooby uh reads here i've been on hiatus again i got really sick with the flu then i had uh, complications all of this week just as i thought it was getting better I ended up having uh, some ser quite serious complications from it but i'm, I'm feeling much better now um so I'm very grateful for that, grateful to the angels, grateful to the goddess for keeping me alive. Uh, let's dig into the Scorpio situation. Please show me angels, what's happening with Scorpio and their person, what happened in the recent past to make the situation so. Okay, cray cray energy, slightly cray cray. Oh yeah, I don't like this. Someone was very impulsive in a connection. Uh, again, I don't know, you know, bimbo, himbo, from Tinder. I don't know who you're dealing with. Any kind of connection, right? Someone is quite impulsive. Someone is putting themselves out there. You got the chariot here. So, you know, this is someone who could have love bombed you. This is someone who was like all love, all love in the beginning of the connection. Like, like wanted you at all costs kind of thing. Could have been someone who like literally came for you. Like they pursued you. Uh, like pursuer energy, um, very hard pursuer energy, seven of pentacles, um, and then, you know, something changed and this person uh, reassessed the situation, uh, made you, there's a tricky energy to this person, very tricky, very, um, yeah, like someone who turns on you, like this is a turncoat. They're all into it, all over you, the chariot, all over it. Maybe they moved for you or made you move for them. Like it was like one of those like romances where you meet and you're like uh, planning to get married like within the first month kind of a situation. But I feel like um, halfway into it, maybe six months into it or six years into it, something changed. This person started being kind of sneaky. Uh, they were starting to think, you know, what's in it for me? They were starting to think maybe I can have my cake and eat it too. Uh, I do unfortunately see energy here. Uh, we do have the Three of Cups and then the bottom of the deck, Three of Pentacles. I see player energy. I see someone who was unfaithful. Scorpio, we hate that the most. Someone who was unfaithful or broke a vow. Um, it could be that it was someone who probably, so take it as it resonates. If you know for a fact, always with my readings, just know that unless I specify, because sometimes uh, the energy is different. But if you know for a fact your person was cheating, then the cheating message is for you. Um, it could also be that this person promised you things. This person promised you uh, an engagement, marriage, stable connection. They promised you this. They promised to celebrate you and they didn't keep their promise and that's why this ended because this person was trying to double time you. They were trying to be sneaky. They were trying to be like, well, what's in it for me? I'm just going to clarify the Three of Cups uh, just to be sure. So if you if you know this person was a cheater or like to flirt with other people, this is confirmation. Um, or it could be a broken oath, like, I will marry you. Maybe they gave you a ring and then took it back kind of thing. Like, this person was also stalling for time, uh, but still player energy. Even if they didn't cheat, I feel like this is a player, like, someone who plays manipulation games. Wow, chariot again. Mm, interesting. Three of cups clarified by the chariot. Yeah, they wanted to have it uh, both ways. Do you feel like it was someone who, even if they weren't cheating, they always like wanted to keep their options open. Uh, like, you know, one foot out the door, uh, very impulsive energy. But yeah, if this person didn't cheat and was not a flirt, this is someone who broke an oath. 
Take it as it resonates, baby. Don't like this. Let's see. Please show me Angel's feelings. How they see Scorpio. Intentions. Next action. Ooh. Weird. Yeah, it's impulsive and immature energy. Uh, this person is like an emotional, they're very deficient emotionally. I'm just going to clarify some cards for you here as well, Boo Boo. Um, yeah. I feel like this person, you know, whatever took place between the two of you, because they don't, maybe someone moved out or someone like moved away emotionally from this connection. I don't know exactly how this ended. Maybe it's still something that's like, you know, you guys are deciding whether to stay together or not. Um, but if you're not in communication, you know, this is an ending because someone wanted to have their cake and eat it too, or because someone didn't keep a promise. Um, at the moment, they're feeling towards you are five of pentacles. So this is feelings of rejection and abandonment. Um, and they could even be, I, I kind of see what I see here is not a good energy because it's like, this is someone who knows they rejected you, but at the same time, they're blaming you for it. You know your story best. Let me know in the comments below who is this douche flute. But it's like blaming the victim kind of thing. Well, if only Scorpio had listened to my lies. If only Scorpio didn't talk back. If only Scorpio, Scorpio was asking too many questions. You know what I mean? Like if only you had just like, this is what I'm, this is what I'm channeling at the moment. If only you just STFU, we would all be happy to get like, none of this would have happened. Like you brought this on yourself. But this, this is a cheater. This is a cheater and an oath breaker. So of course you were questioning them because you're Scorpio. You're not stupid. You're the FBI of the Zodiac. They're like, why did you like, you know, not let it go? You should have just let it go and STFU and just sit in your corner, Scorpio. How they see you, again, you know, someone who knows too much. Uh, Page of Swords, y you, you were too clever. You knew too much. You uh, seem to know things about this person in terms of like, you know, they're cheating and stuff like that or oath breaking. You just, you could see through them. You knew they changed. You could see through their manipulation tactics. You got the lovers here also like for a deep, their deep feeling. So, you know, this is someone who does love you. Uh, and does see you as a divine counterpart, but they wanted to have it their own way. So they, I feel like this person in general sees this relationship with you as a power struggle as well. Uh, they're used to getting their own way. They, they're used to uh, dating or being married to, you know, whatever your connection was. This person uh, in the past was always used to being around people who were weaker than them. Uh, and they didn't expect you to kind of retaliate, you know, uh, and be like, no, you can't say that. You can't do that. Like, I know stuff. I found out stuff about you. Like, what is going on here? They're not used to this. Uh, they don't know what they're going to do at the moment in terms of their intentions. They don't know uh, if they're coming or going. They don't know how to even approach this situation. You have this person stumped, Scorpio. That whatever you did here, whatever you found out, whatever you told them that you knew here with this page of swords, this person really wasn't expecting this. I, th I feel like this person thought you were more under their, their thumb than you really were. Uh, this high priestess here is someone, you know, uh, deep between the worlds, doesn't know which way to turn. Uh, your person might be even like uh, getting tarot readings or consulting psychics to find out how to approach Scorpio because this person doesn't, th this person thinks you're totally done with them. But they're coming in for another round. Uh, they're not completely done. Nine of Wands is someone who isn't completely done, someone who wants to keep fighting. They're coming in for another round. In their mind, this is like last call, maybe last chance saloon. They're not fully done. It could be the kind of person who's like never really done with people, but they just like, you know, keep moving on to a new person, but never really finish it with the a past one kind of thing. Let's clarify this card for you. The star. Yeah. So this person, you know, despite of all of their kind of emotional inadequacies, they do see you as their wish fulfillment. Scorpio, your general vibe track for the day also had this star card quite prominently. And there was a toxic X in it. So take a look at it because it might be, I feel like these two readings might be a little bit related. Um, this person is coming, and the Five of Pentacles was also prominent. 
Uh, this person is coming back in because they do see you as their wish and as their star, even though their, their behavior was sneaky, self-serving here with the seven of pentacles, someone who wanted to be sneaky, keep stuff away from you, um, not tell you uh, everything, not commit fully to a relationship, uh, but, and they're kind of mad at you for seeing through them because they're used to being in control. They're used to gaslighting people. They're used to being uh, with weaker people than them. But this person has realized, despite of all of this, that it's really hard to leave a Scorpio and it's really hard to walk away from the Scorpio energy and they'll be coming back in. Uh, I'm getting moving away energy. If this person did move away, they're coming back in as well. Like they're, they're gonna wanna like move back in together if you were living together before or they're gonna come like come your way, like if there is distance between you ge geographically. Oh, and the Page of Wands, this is my Traveler card, Explorer. Um, yeah, definitely this person is coming back in. For one more round, it's not gonna be lovey-dovey. I don't think they're coming in with flowers. I think they're coming in to have an argument. <laughs> Let's see what the long-term potential here is to give you. Only a Scorpio reading is so full of like people from the, because Scorpio, you know, Scorpio is like depths and the unconscious. So there's always, I feel like the past is kind of in that realm anyway. So there's always stuff, for Scorpio readings always surface things, you know, things hidden in the shadows. This person can't help themselves. It's a weird dynamic. I feel like this person is mad at you that they're in love with you. Does that make sense to you, Scorpio? Let me know in the comments below if this is your story. Yeah, oh my God, the devil. Again, page of wands and two of pentacles, the same cards uh, we were seeing before, they all jumped out again as confirmation. Yeah, this person is coming in. The devil, because they can't let you go, boo-boo. They can't let this go. No matter how much they, they really tried, they really want to move on, but they can't. And they're mad at you for it. <sighs> Only a Scorpio would get a reading like this. Okay, boo-boo, let's see. Please show me Angel's long-term potential here with this person. <laughs> Okay. Yeah. The, oh my God. Give you the devil again. There's definitely long-term potential here. If you want to, if you're willing to tolerate this person's crazy, there's long-term potential. I don't know if they can change for you, but they're definitely going to try because you have the two of cups here. Uh, and the knight of wands was the first card we got. So, uh, you know, at first it might be a little bit rocky, very like fiery, but also in and out energy turning into reconciliation, two of cups. If you, if you both really want this, I feel like you can work on it. Two of Cups next to the Devil is a really good combination. The Devil isn't always bad. I feel like with this person it is because they feel trapped in this emotionally because they can't let you go. Uh, but at the same time, you know, this Two of Pentacles next to the Devil is commitment to marriage. This is the marriage this person pr uh, promised you, didn't keep their word. They're gonna uh, keep to their word this time. I feel like this, uh, excuse me, I'm not going to lie. I don't think you're dealing with a good person. I don't think this is a good person. I don't think this is an honorable person. This is not, not a knight princess, anyone in between in shining armor. But it is someone who is obsessed with you and cannot live without you. And in this period of current either a separation or a lull or not speaking, because that's what I see here, or moving away, like either uh, physically or uh, metaphorically, this person, even though they're not a good person, uh, they're not like highest potential for you at all, but they have realized uh, that they cannot live without you. And for this reason, they might actually become a good partner for you because uh, they got stung, like they stung themselves by uh, pushing you away. They realized that you are their dream and that they don't want to live without you. So they learned this harsh lesson. Um, they learned this harsh lesson. Let's get uh, some advice uh, specifically for Scorpio here. Uh, let me pull an angel card here for you as well. Yeah, uh, you you want to bide your time at the moment, uh, Scorpio. Be careful with any messages you send out to this person when they do communicate. I feel like this person will be communicating. Uh, so we got the Nine of Wands. It could be this person will be communicating on the 9th of April if you're watching this uh, around uh, March, April. Uh, or in nine, nine days, uh, nine hours uh, from the day you see this video. Uh, this is interesting. Religious factors came up here as advice for you. 
it's weird. I feel, I feel like it might be, I mean, it's not weird. Uh, it doesn't have to be specifically religion. It can just be, you know, your attitude towards uh, important things in life uh, about, you know, family, friends, how you manage your finances, all of that uh, could be regarding nature, the nature of relationships. Do you want a traditional relationship? This person wants an open relationship. You know, what is the thing that's kind of uh, in your way at the moment with this connection? Uh, uh, and Page of Pentacles, uh, definitely the advice here is, um, don't be too forthcoming in your communication with this person. See how they go first. Uh, see what they have to say and then say your piece. Uh, take things slow. Um, but, I mean, it's affirmation as well. Like, this message is coming. I feel like some of you scribes are wondering if a message is coming towards you. And you can kind of feel it coming, but you're not sure. It is coming. Uh, for some of you, it is straight up religious factors. Like, you know, you're dating an Orthodox Christian or some crazy ish like that like nothing against orthodox christians but you know what i mean like someone who has like very specific practices and stuff like that and it's like standing their way it could be a family tradition it could be their nationality it could be the way that they see you know uh their own spirituality or your spirituality um so the advice here is just like take a slow bide your time uh, it's, you know, I feel like there is a higher order person, wait, oh, look, the star again at the bottom of the deck. I do feel like maybe you are, you know, it's kind of, kind of funny because you're this person's wish, wish fulfillment, but I feel like there's like other options out there in terms of your wish fulfillment, but it's all up to you, Scorpio, because the tarot cannot tell you what to do. The tarot is just a hint, a nudge, and, um, free will trumps everything. So, uh, can you have a reconciliation here? Yeah, it'll be hard. It'll be painful. It's kind of obsessive. There's a lot of toxicity here, but this person is actually willing to work on it this time around. Uh, would it serve you better to maybe follow a different path here for a different dream of the uh, star card? Quite possibly, yes. It all depends on your situation, what you truly want, boo-boo. But also wait until this person speaks because they might have uh, new interesting things to say. It might be in nine days. On the ninth day of the month, it could be within the month. Uh, so that's what I have for you, Scribu. I love you, my boo-boos. Let me know in the comments below as usual if this resonated for you. And if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like and subscribe because it really, really helps you out as a small creator on YouTube. I'll see you next time, baby. Take care of yourself. May the angels protect you.